Today we're going to formally remember the men who built the foundation and thank one flyer for his incredible lifetime devotion to the University of Dayton basketball program. The Mateel family generously contributed the funding that gave us the opportunity to complete this entire facility in the first class manner that we wanted to. I really wanted the Mateel family to have their name prominently displayed in the center and ask that this gym be named after them with their name also being placed on the basketball court. As Clay and Mary told us, they and their family discussed this, but Clay asked instead that we recognize all the men who established the foundation for University of Dayton basketball in the 50s and 60s, and that Bucky Bockhorn be recognized for the ambassador that he has been for Dayton Flyer basketball. So today we have two announcements. I am pleased to announce that the basketball court here in this gym will be forever known as Bockhorn Court. The University of Dayton won more basketball games in the decades of the 50s and 60s than any other college basketball program. The men who played on these teams established the foundation that Flyer basketball has been built upon and established the level of excellence that created a nationally recognized program that continues today. The Fieldhouse teams not only won games, they also won the hearts of their fans, leading to the phenomena of the Flyer faithful and creating the need for one of the college basketball's great venues, the University of Dayton Arena. This gym is now named the Fieldhouse Gym so that we can forever remember the teams that laid the foundation for Dayton Flyer basketball. Anytime you cut down the nets and you've won a championship, yeah, you, you use a ladder, but really you're standing on the shoulders of the people who've come before you and have succeeded. And the foundation that was laid by the men who played in the field house in the 50s and 60s is one that can never be taken away. I mean, it is a rock solid foundation and it's upon that that success continues to be built. It means a lot uh, to us, you know, a lot of memories over here at the, uh, the field house. In my view and speaking for my teammates, uh, it was a great, great four years. Just a comforting feeling that they're all recognized. That, that's the nice part about it. And we're all so proud to be a part of it and to be recognized like this. It's a, it's a thrill for, for we old timers. This is the biggest thing that, that's ever happened to me. I, last year I was in the Ohio Hall of Fame and the Broadcasters Hall of Fame, but there's nothing tops this. And uh, it's just, it's gonna be here forever, man. And uh, it's, it, it's truly, I'm truly grateful. And I think it's appropriate that they're naming the practice floor after him because his connection is, is really with the Dayton basketball players. He is here every day in practice to watch these guys. And that's where the bond forms. It's been unbelievable. I always tell everybody I've been on a 60-year scholarship here at UD, and they always say what I've done for UD, but UD's done more for me than I've ever done for them. I mean, it's been a, it's a great relationship. A UD basketball is just a special thing, and I, I'm overwhelmed. It's seriously just a great honor.